folks, welcome back to a special edition of WTF. I'm Matt Adams. And I'm Jamie Hodges. And this is the show where we tell you what the fuck is going on. We're going to tell you what's going down at Wizard World. Wizard World Richmond! We're going to be bringing you coverage of Wizard World all weekend. We're going to interview cosplayers and celebrities. We got a little special treat with uh, Lou Ferrigno and Jason David Frank. JDF. The coolest man alive. That, that's what I'm saying, man. Kind of have like a family relationship with a lot of the people we come in contact with. We've seen a lot of people from out of town. A lot of White Tiger Films fans here too, so uh, it's really exciting to see everybody. And uh, we're going to bring it to you the best way we know how, White Tiger Film style. Day is just getting started. We're looking at some good cosplays already. My name is Mike. I'm actually from uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, so I'm a local, kind of sort of. I'm actually one of the featured cosplayers for Wizard World this weekend, uh, also with Brian. Shazam! Uh, so we're on the website. We're actually also judging the costume contest tomorrow uh, with Jason David Frank. Best experience of my life ever. I actually live in Clinton, Maryland. I do a lot of different shows. I'm one of the featured cosplayers here this weekend at Wizard World, Richmond. Be Wild Cosplay. You're a featured cosplayer and a judge here this weekend. Have you seen anything so far that you're gonna be looking for in other cosplays this weekend? Actually, I just wanna see everybody put out their best cosplay, have fun doing it, and just remember, man, it's all about being a geek and having a great time. Yeah. We can come to terms with being a geek here. I want you to kick him. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't mess with the Green Ranger. My name is Heather, and I'm cosplaying as Rapunzel from Tangled. Recently, I've been traveling with a friend to uh, help him sell prints and stuff like that. Um, so I've been getting better at the going to more conventions. I have a whole bunch lined up. I've almost got one every other weekend right now. Oh wow, which ones have you been to already? I have been to BronyCon and West Virginia PopCon and obviously this one. I have Austin, Ohio for the Wizard World Circuit coming up in next month. One thing we're asking everyone is uh, what went into the costume and the making and everything and uh, if, if you would just walk us through the process of this costume here. Okay, um, this all together uh, took me about nine months to complete. I had two many, many reference photos of Rapunzel and the different colors of the dress that the skirt comes in. But I went through buying fabric from Joann's to buying the pattern pieces from Spoonflower. I hand learned how to hand embroider for the first time um, on the sides of the skirt. Uh, the wig, I bought two separate wigs off of eBay from Cosplay DNA and I had to put them together into one giant massive braid here which has been a awesome. complete pain in my butt actually. <laughs> so if you had to guess how many uh, hours of work went into this? Oh hundreds. Uh, I stayed up late into the night working on this. Uh, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., barely getting any sleep. I had to be forced to eat because I would just want to get it done and finished. I do have my own cosplay page where I put all my updates on. Uh, you can find that at facebook.com slash artistic dreamers. All right, I'm standing here with the judge. I'm gonna be really careful that I don't violate any laws here. I don't wanna spend any time in the cube. My name's John, and uh, it took me about a year of uh, calendar time. You know, I planned it out really carefully because uh, I wanted to surprise a bunch of friends at uh, Gen Con in Indianapolis. So I took a long time ordering my materials and deciding on what I could purchase versus make. It's uh, craft foam in uh, three millimeter and six millimeter and quarter inch. And it's just cut out. I actually uh, did got mesh fabric, two pieces of fabric, and spray glued them together, then sewed on, on the, all the plates. You gotta cover them all in plastic dip so you could actually paint them. 
Uh, this is really awesome because you can see all the, the detail. There's several layers even on each piece. So. Yeah, so the vest was the most complicated piece, so that, that's the one that took me took me the most time. I uh, had to decide on either buying or making a helmet. I went ahead and bought one. It comes raw, you got to paint it and everything, and I'm pretty good at painting, so. I would say so, yep. Kept that. Um, boots are tough because they, on the movie, they custom made every single thing, and so you got to do the best you can. Uh, they're not movie accurate, but they're, they're pretty close, and that's craft foam, lots of hot glue. Who are you cosplaying as today? Jace the Mind Sculptor from Magic the Gathering. Oh, all right, all right, magic, magic. It's magic, look at this. And uh, is, is everything fabricated yourself? Or? Uh, no, I originally bought the costume online, but it literally started falling apart a week later, so I had to learn how to sew really fast right. to put everything back in. Well, it's really great, and what about your contacts? Where did you get those? Um, I actually got these at Dragon Con two weeks ago. All right. Uh, really, really weird. Wear. Are they uncomfortable at all? I have to ask because I do a Batman cosplay and I've been thinking a lot about whiteout contacts. Can you like describe them to me? Um, sometimes it's like having an eyelash in your eye pretty much. That's about it. It doesn't sound comfortable at all. It fades away, you get kind of used to it. My name's Vinny okay. and I am a Ghostbuster. Is Ghostbusters your favorite movie? Uh, yes. What do you got here? Um, so we have a trap. All right. the ghost, the okay, you meter. That's how you can track a ghost. All right. Is there any ghosts right here right now? Or are we clean? Yes. It's speeding up. Uh-oh. Well, it's a good thing you're here then, right? Yep. Yep, because you can catch them for us. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, sir. We'll go ahead and give us your name and who you're cosplaying as. Uh, Carissa and Baroness. All right. And did you make everything that we're looking here? Actually, my husband made it, and he also made our, that's my son, and he made all of his. Okay. What's it all made out of? Um, this is a, a mannequin, a half mannequin, and he bought it, split it in half, made it to fit me. Hey, wow. I mean, that came together real nicely, though, and I never would have thought to use a uh, mannequin front. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a really crafty. And I'm Gabby, and I'm doing Wonder Woman. Okay. And likewise, what went into the creation of this costume? Well, as she said, her husband did the costume, so I came up with the ideals. I was trying to go for the new 52 with the silver instead of doing the gold. But I wasn't able to get the right boots, but these work perfect because yeah, I love them. It gives me more height. Yeah. But um, so this is a, just a steel bone corset. This, uh, the top piece is made with foam and some silver fabric material, fabric material, mm -hmm. and foam. That's all it is to now, it. Speaking as a cosplayer myself, I usually have a lot of trouble getting like different materials to stick to fabric. How did you get the silver to stop? Hot glue? We got hot glue okay. and then uh, the spray-on glue to keep right. the silver on there, but we put the hot glue for the So when all else fails, hot glue comes there to save go. the day. Yep. Tell us who you are. I'm going to pretend I don't know. I'm Nicole. And I'm Christina. And we're from Action Packed. What is Action Packed? What do you guys do? What is that? Action Packed Cosplay uh, was originally founded as a bag and accessory line, and we kind of evolved and expanded into doing costume commissions and focusing more on volunteer work and, um, and appearances at conventions. And it's just, yeah, it's been a great learning experience. We love to we love to make costumes for other people. You know, just this, last, this past weekend at Baltimore Comic Con, we had a good, what is it, five four. of our friends, four friends in costumes of ours walking around the floor. <laughs> So we love to do con with our friends and we love the, the ability to, to, you know, help them look like their favorite superhero. We made brand new costumes for this entire weekend for Wizard World, so we wanted to do, you know, take it easy, do some uh, superhero inspired gowns today, and then Wonder Woman and Cheetah tomorrow, and uh, Power Girl, Harley Quinn, and Fury on Sunday. Sewing is our forte, but we're just getting into a lot more working with uh, different materials, and it's a lot of fun. You're always learning. Every every con is an opportunity to meet new prop makers and new artists. Mm -hmm. It's great. As a cosplayer whose sewing is not his forte, I appreciate what y'all do because it is it is an art. Well, we would be happy to make something for you next time. Absolutely. Yeah. It would, would, it's not like a like it wouldn't be like a dress, would it? Like it would. Only if you, you want to, honey bunny. Dress. Yeah, I was gonna say. If you want to wear a dress, we will make you the prettiest dress around. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like Kaylee and Firefly, yeah, big cupcake dress. <laughs> 
Who wants to see me in a cupcake dress? <laughs> All right, I'm Sean Weber of uh, Dynamite Weber Cosplay. And I'm Helene of Queen Helene Cosplay. I'm a uh, Nightwing. And I am the new 52 version of Wonder Woman. I made all this out of foam. I made everything I'm wearing except for the mask and the belt. The mask is by uh, Tiger Stone FX. The belt is from Party City. It was more design work than actual fabrication. Fabrication doesn't take that long. But I tried to get the craft foam to look like leather with a lot of texture and the rest of it to look like armor. I have a kitchen cabinet liner. I try to keep uh, my materials cheap and everything, you know, kind of low budget, but with a high budget look. That's it's the main goal. Most cosplayers can agree with that, especially us. Mine's a little more expensive, but I try and keep it on the, <laughs> the light end. Um, all of my armor is uh, aluminum sheet metal. It's all bent and hammered and lined with vinyl. I can actually take it off and show you. Um, I had to drill holes in these. These are actually snaps on the side and all the vinyl that's on the inside. It's actually signed by Cliff Chang, the designer of this costume. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, this is a steel bone corset under here. All the pieces are separately sewn together. Um, all the, the leather looking stuff is all vinyl. Uh, the boots and everything were custom made. Because they actually don't make dark blue boots for Wonder Woman. I know it's her newer version, but all of the Wonder Woman boots that they have out there for sale are only red. So if you ever see a Wonder Woman in blue boots, she made them. Watch, now that you've done it, now everyone's going to start doing it. <laughs> yeah. And he actually made this sword, um, my sword. I had one from New York, but I wasn't able to bring it. She gave me about a day and a half to get that finished before this con. <laughs> so. He made the whole thing in four hours, yeah. did the paint job in one day. That's also part of being a cosplayer, okay? <laughs> we have no concept of time. No. That's oh, you? crush. We always got time until we don't. That's how it is. <laughs> oh, hey, let's go to a con tomorrow. Do you have a costume? No. no. But I will. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys both participated in the costume con. We were actually the, bu the Busters, the Ghostbusters yesterday. Yes, yes. Yeah. Why don't you tell us uh, what you won? Uh, I won the best female hero in the costume contest. It was cool. Got a nice little heavy trophy. It's actually heavier than my real medal. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, a cash prize as well. Made all the work worth it's it. It's very rewarding. Very, that's the word. <laughs>
But I learned a lot about this trap of acting because the individual was not speaking, but then I worked my way into different uh, uh, acting roles for the Hulk may be famous. Now, you can have another actor that could overnight success, like for example, you take the TV series Arrow. It became a hit. Okay, he's got a lot of luck too. There's probably other actors who are not better than him. It's all about the time and place. But the, the thing I'm trying to say is that you like acting, be passionate about it. So go with the attitude that that the big day's got to happen tomorrow. It may take 15 years, it may take 20 years, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like I'm passionate about different things, but not just your acting. And uh, because I got to make a living. Yeah. Well, when you were like a little baby Hulk, did you ever think that uh, you would be where you are now? Baby Hulk, huh? I was a skinny little Hulk. <laughs> well, I had a lot of dreams. I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be a bodybuilding champion. I read comics and Superman comics, and people made fun of me. I had a very uh, abusive father, and I always said I would never amount to anything. But I always had these dreams that fantasized. I never told anyone and started to happen because I was so competitive with myself and constantly maximize my own personal power that someday I'm going to be successful, I'm going to go after because I can't take no for an answer. I will fight so that I get what I want. And that's the beauty because I have the ability to embrace fear. I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I just have one extra question because we have uh, Jason David Frank here and we're going to ask him the same question. So the Hulk and the Green Ranger get into a scrap. Who's walking away from that fight? Well, the Green Ranger got to be pretty fast because one rip of the Hulk is dead. He's done. He's done. Like a tomato. <laughs> Hey man, like, come see me. And I'm like, uh, I was there when I was there 
during Dino Thunder when nobody wanted to come back to boost the ratings up. Yes, and I could You're still really involved yeah. in the Dino Thunder yeah. I am. And I, I support it. And I, you know, I'm doing it in, uh, you know, like October the Super Bowl. Yeah. And it's never been about money, man. It's been about fans. And, yeah. and uh, you know, when I hear other people talk about it or and, and it didn't work out, it's because of one thing. You guys aren't young no more. You understand. You understand now why people were sent to a peace conference. You're, you know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. It's, you know, it's money, basically. And uh, you know, that's what happened. Uh, original cast, new second cast members came in. They they did their job. Some liked it, some did it, and I still support it. And there's a lot of times I do solo panels for that reason. When I'm sitting on a panel, I want to give the fans what they want to hear, not give. Oh, I've ruined my life. And, you know, we never got paid to box of characters. We always did, but I'm a businessman. I got all stuff going on. I don't do these cons for money. I don't charge an appearance fee. I don't. So when you hear things like that, or I'm, I'm, I don't have that in on my social media. I do everything myself. But I'm going to tell you, we're, we're all really good fans. I was one of the kids in elementary school who was fighting over who gets to be the grand man. <laughs> Unfortunately, I always lost out to the kid with the rat tails. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to me, like, the audience... To, you know, there's 30 year olds that watch me. So I'm 41, and sometimes 30 year olds might have more gray hair than me. Yeah. All right? I don't, I don't dye my hair, but the thing is, like, I do have, like, new people work with me, they come up and they're like, dude, I used to watch you as a kid. And so, like, these handlers are like, they don't know nothing, and they're like, can I ask you something like, what is it that you did that they used to watch you as a kid? And I'm like, well, I did Power Rangers, but not because the, the fan base of the new people now, to the kids from Dino Thunder, to the little kids on Nickelodeon, to the original fans of the MMPR, I've covered all angles to the movies, to Turbo. Yeah. It's just all angles. So around Power Rangers, then with the reboot, it's great. I hope an actor doesn't play me. Then I'll be like, yeah, you know, so so played me in the movie, and uh, yeah, you know, I give him a little tips, you know. But it's very hard to, as you know, filmmaking. It's either a hit or not. It's going to be a massive hit or a, ma a massive bummer. Yeah, and you There's can no never fine tell. line. No. Yeah, so Especially with the reboot. Reboots. Yeah. reboots. And because you guys are younger, you're so used to. It's like you're, you're already judging. Like, okay, give me that feeling when I used to see. It. Come on, give it to me. I don't because feel it. I don't feel, feel it. Yeah. If it's slightly yeah. off, and, it's, like, and then the little kids see that. Then, then you got to start understanding. Like, are they gonna do this for little kids? Because the kids can carry the money through the box office, even though the parents are disappointed. The kids don't see the difference, so they'll fall in love with the new Rangers. But if you're gonna gear it towards kids, then we're losing the audience that I wanted to do for the Green Ranger series. So, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be? PG-13, is it going to be rated R? You know, I mean, I'm sure not rated R, but is it going to be geared towards little kids, or is it going to be what geared you imagine? towards, you know? But I mean, I like the, I, I like the turtle reboot. I mean, I, I was going to mention that. Yeah, we don't mind it either. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I thought it was cool. So I think as long as you can settle somewhere in between, yeah, in between yeah. just to satisfy all your audiences. Yeah. Like, I think if they like it about as much as they're passionate about it, they can do that. I, I don't think they should, in just my opinion, I don't think they should take it and CGI this whole thing. I think they need to leave it Oh, that would be really you know what I mean. Cool Leave it legit. Yeah. Just you know, like, like don't don't try to outdo other stuff with far out, real, unrealistic things. It's like live action stuff has gotten yeah. so much more advanced, just like CGI. It's like even if it's robotics, it's still gonna. And, look you know, cool. some of the movies, like you know, I was watching Lucy, and I was really into into it until it started losing it. Just a little bit. Of it's just you know, it's like so good. Like I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, wait a second, it's getting a little, and it feels like they're the writers are just trying to stretch it out, and the director's like, oh, which direction do I take it? And unfortunately, it kind of takes it to the, the ending of life. Oh, oh. I was impressed at first. I thought it was better, was than, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I was too, but I'm the Because you got to remember, like, it's always, like, I teach karate and martial arts tournaments. Judges will remember the beginning and the end. In between, it doesn't matter. You end strong, last impression. You start strong, first impression. Yeah, it's both the same thing. Green Ranger and Hulk walking to a bar, getting a little bit of a scrap. Yeah. Who wins? Man, I, you know, I have to give, I have to respect my elders on that one. Oh, oh no, yeah. yeah. Luke, dude, okay. 62 years old. Come on, man. Like, I looked at pictures on his Instagram, and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I mean, if I, you know, if I want to look that good at like 62 years old, I get people that come up to me and they're like, man, how old are you? 41? Man, I hope I look that, I hope I look that good when I'm 41. And I'm thinking, you don't even look good. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that mess. <laughs> yeah, talking superpower beat down. Looks like Aaron was directed. Yeah, Aaron was directed. Yeah, dude. I would, I would like be in a lot of trouble until I, you know, summons the dragon sword and just step on it. Just, 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 just the last shot. Whoa, whoa! I, 
I'm dumb. That dinner made me dumb. We don't know what to do with ourselves. Lou Ferrigno. You okay? I'm, Are you gonna survive? I'm, a, I'm alive. I just learned a valuable lesson. Damn. You don't piss off the Hulk. No. You don't piss off the Hulk in the middle of when he's eating. When you, you wouldn't like him. When he's hungry. When he's hungry. And what about that Green Ranger fella? How was it talking to uh, Jason David Frank? Best experience of my life ever. And me personally, meeting my childhood hero that I idolized 20 years ago was the best experience of my life ever. Jason David Frank was really awesome. More personable than I could have ever imagined. One of my all-time favorite celebrities to interview. I feel inspired. Other than just being awesome martial artist and all-around hero as my childhood, but just to hear him be so into filmmaking and so encouraging of independent film and local filmmakers, it really is just refreshing. It's very passionate. Memories last forever. That, that's what I'm saying, man. That's a wrap. We came, we saw, we sucked this place dry. Uh, we met Dean Kane, Bruce Campbell, Lou Ferrigno, oh. Jason David, Frank Batista, Michael Rooker, and the comic book men. Solid dudes. We met Gus. Los Polos Hernandez. Las Polos Chicken, I like the chicken. <laughs> all in all, the experience is really great. We're just really looking forward to the return of Wizard World to Richmond next year, 2015. Make it happen. We saw a lot of awesome, talented, great cosplayers. We love you guys. We love hearing about your builds and everything it took to do what you do and to make it here. Uh, we ourselves uh, cosplayed yesterday as the Ghostbusters. Jamie's still in his Star Lord getup from today. And as cosplayers, we really enjoy all the effort and hard work we see put into some of these costumes. It's just amazing. And of course, the, co the costume contest was uh, a life experience for us as well as the hundreds of other cosplayers. So if I had to, if I could just, if any of you guys are watching, I just want to say you guys did great. Love seeing you out there, and I hope to see you at future cons.